What's up vlog? Rich Bounty here for another one as our technician rolls up. Uh, we're going to be doing a little video series here, but I wanted to bring you through the day as we uh, maneuver through the food equipment industry. Um, we're, at, we're at Mahana Fresh. It's going to be a new chain. So we're going to be doing an installation here. Uh, we have Conro Therm from Well Built, and we're going to be installing that. So you're going to get to see that in another video, but join me in the day um, as we bring you through. And Lisa, where are we? Tom's River, New Jersey? Tom's River. Tom's River, Jersey Shore. We're down here just before the big 4th of July weekend. We had to make sure we get down here before the weekend hits. Otherwise, we'd be in four hours of traffic. Join me as we go in and check things out. is power as we say that all the time knowing exactly everything to a T what's going on before we get here matters we need to know what we're installing we need to know voltages we need to, we need to know models we need to know we need to know everything up until the point so we and, and we, when we get inside we used to know where the equipment's actually going because he'll walk in and go oh we don't know where it's going so now we have to like say well he'll use his his professional judgment and go probably going there so this is where I'm gonna I mean so you're you're there's a little bit of guesswork going on as well. So um, a lot of things do need to be improved out here in the field, and it's not just on any one particular party. It's collective. Guys, good morning. Sometimes these guys think they're feeding a steamer, so they need hot water, they need cold water. Um, okay, and then you're gonna put the T on? I'll put a Y. You'll put the Y? Yeah. So they just need two connectors? They need two, and, two and I'll... I need a Y at all. Yeah. And then obviously, uh, then the, and the three quarter gas on. Uh, and about how far out do I gotta call? So I'm gonna basically get my rough inspection, and then just call you in as soon as I'm, I get my roughs, right? Um, about that, and how far out are you as far well, as? Well, you need out? a functioning hood. I don't even know if we to have test to these things out. I don't so even know if your hood runs. It runs. It works. But okay. what do you mean by? Uh, well, to, to, to what we install we it. To no. Well, what yeah. happens is we install it, and then it comes with a startup. We basically make sure it works right. right. Tweak any adjustments, whatever it needs, the door, the whatever. Yeah. Um, but we have to run it. Yep. So if your hood's not working. It's going to be like a rainforest in here. Gotcha. Plus, no. it's a gas unit, so you have to have a hood. Yeah, I had the hood clean. The hood, I mean, the hood works. It runs. I mean, we can turn it on here at the end. But you'd be surprised the place you can go. Oh, yeah. 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 Just once, once everything is completely ready, we'll call, we schedule, we come in, we bang it out, and you're, and you're up and running. I just, All right, so I don't actually. Do we have a checklist? Yeah. That was in there? That yeah. Kind of go down and talk through. Yep. Site survey. Do you have a copy of the spec sheet? We do. Will the combi be able to get to the installation site? Sure. <laughs> the doorway is big enough. Yes. Is there aisle large enough? Yes. So let's let's Can it fit in location provided. Yes. Don. Good afternoon. Um, I got a question. I'm out of doing a site survey to install a couple C4 ET 610 combis. Yes, sir. What is the dimension? of the combi without the packaging. I have a 34 inch door and I need to make sure I can fit through it. Depth looks to be just under 31 and a half inches. With handle or without the handle? Well, you know what? I'll take the handle off, I have to. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I got you. 
Okay, so 31, so we're good. Okay, good enough. Every Tuesday I get turned on the side. Thank you. Me. Just to get it through, so now you have equipment, because otherwise I couldn't do anything. Right. So now we go back, and now I have to click it. Now I hit add, it's just, it's just time. It is. Time it is time to time. time. When we're sitting in the office, we kind of don't really realize or understand what, what, what the actual things and the tasks at hand are. And I think vice versa, you know, the techs that are on the road, they're doing their thing, they're doing their job, they probably don't understand or, or realize the tasks at hand in the office from the operation and service perspective, but um, there has to be a better, a better line of communication. Um, now that the world has opened back up, I do want to start getting back out into the road like I was previously. And this, this is the kind of thing I think that's going to help us um, change that. So I mean, this is this is one simple fix. Now, when I get back to the office, we'll have a very quick chat, um, no big meeting, quick chat. Probably I could do it in an email, but everybody know from now on, even though we're just coming to a site survey, we might, might have all the information. We, we know we know it's going to be Cleveland. We know it's going to be a C4. We might not have a serial. Put a question mark in there, like Dave said. This way, when the tech comes to site, he knows he has to put the, the that there because he's going to he's going to label it with our own asset tag number. So he's got to put the serial and that asset tag. This is all time. And that's what, I mean, time consuming. I mean, they spend, like I said, he's spending a lot of time doing stuff in the tablet um, on top of the work that he actually has to do, on top of phone calls that he might have to make to a manufacturer that takes 30, 40, 50 minutes. So when we're selling time and time is our, our, our greatest asset, we have to kind of be more conscious of that. So we're gonna look to continue to improve and being better than yesterday. That's what we're doing.